Section 4.1, Deposits. So we're going to start our checking account chapter. We're doing a few sections from the book, and then we'll be doing uh, something that is not in the book. Uh, simulation for checkbooks. A deposit checks currency or coins put into a bank account. Direct deposit, an electronic deposit that has been transferred from your employer's checking account to your checking account. Um, many of you probably get your checks paid by direct deposit. They just take care of it and then they email you the check stub that you would have gotten if you actually got the paper copy of the check. ATM, make sure you know what this is, um, what the abbreviation stands for. Automated or automatic teller machine. Personal identification number or PIN, know what this one stands for, for the test. Um, it is a number tacked onto your ATM card that allows you to access your bank account at an ATM machine. Here's our first example. Manuel is making a deposit to his checking account. He has checks for $435.20. 27119 and 32796. So the, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep track of what my totals are here. So I'm going to add so 43520 and 27119 and 32796 which is 1034 35 then we're going to look at his um, cash. So he has 15 $1 bills. So I'm going to do a list of cash on the side. Ones equal $15. Seven fives. So our fives, seven times five would be $35. Our tens would be $30. 24 quarters. So I'll just put Q for quarters. Um, 24 times 25 cents would be $6. Our dimes would be 50 cents. 15 nickels. So 5 cents times 15 would be 75 cents. 14 pennies. Okay, so to get our total, we have our checks. Now we're gonna go with our cash, which is our paper money. So I'm gonna draw a little line through here. 15, 35, and 30 is $80. Then we're gonna do our coin. If we add six 50 cents, 75 cents, and 14 cents together, we get $7.39. And then we can get our total. So 1,034.35 plus 80 plus 739 is 1,121.74. Okay, now that's the subtotal. Now what it's also asking for is he wants to withdraw $75 in cash. So what that, what that does is it takes his balance lower, and that's going to be in the less cash received spot. Um, he's going to have to sign his name. I'm gonna put that in a different color here. There's usually a line, and then the person will sign their name, so that it shows that they got that cash back. So if we subtract $75, his balance that he deposited was $1,046.74, and that would be his total deposit. Um, make sure when you're looking at this video, you're also looking at the actual checking deposit on page 180 
Um, we'll be practicing filling these in, but a checking deposit usually has your name on it. It has a place for the date. It has the bank that you're actually using. It has all the numbers along the bottom, which we'll talk about later. And then along the right is actually the spot that you fill in for the actual um, currency, coins, checks, subtotal, cash received, and total deposit. Um, this right here is important because um, you sign only if you're getting cash back. Oops, that's too chunky of a color here. Let's do a little thinner. Sign if receiving cash. It's kind of an extra little thing that you do only when you receive um, cash back out of your deposit. If you don't give cash back, you don't have to sign it. So that was just verifying that his um, deposit was right. Hannah makes a deposit at an ATM and walks away with $100 in cash she received and the receipt for the $986 total deposit she made. She remembers that the checks deposited were twice the amount of currency. So checks equal twice currency. So we're going to let X be the currency total. And then 2X would equal your checks. All right. She didn't deposit any coins. What amount in currency did she deposit? So let's go with um, a little formula that they are looking at on page 179. It says total deposit. And then we have currency. Remember, that's just your paper money plus coins plus checks and then minus cash received. So if we go by that and we just put in what we have and what we're missing, we should be uh, good. So her total deposit was $986. Um, currency, we don't know because that's what it's asking. So I'm just going to put an X there. We chose X up at the top for currency. Um, it says we have zero coins, so we don't need that part. And all we know is that the checks were two times that of the currency. And then we walked away with $100 cash, so we're going to subtract 100 from it. So 986 equals 3x minus 100. We're going to add 100 to both sides. So 1,086 equals 3x. We'll divide by 3 x is going to equal 362. And if we look at what we had our variables, variables defined as, um, this would be the currency. And that's what they're asking for. If they also go ask for the total of the checks, um, checks would be double that. So 2 times 362, which would be $724. One other way that you could find that total for the checks would be to subtract 362 from 1,086. And you also get 724. So you could have found that either way. Um, I'm going to probably have to go through numbers 5 through 14 with you so you kind of know how that works. Um, but... Um, come with questions. We'll talk a little bit about um, some detail things tomorrow.